Sir, it's kind of sad you don't allow us to give us pamphlets of things you actually believe. Huh? You don't read pamphlets? Do you do what the Word of God says? You do? What do you do about saving the babies that are being ripped apart? What does that mean, everything you can? Believe me, I had to repent of my apathy. I wasn't doing anything. I was checking a box on a ballot. What does that do? I was in the same boat you were, sir. I went to church. I served at church. I thought that's what I was supposed to do. Think about it, sir. God calls us to do his work, not sit in a pew. And it's definitely not parking ministry. You've been called to do parking ministry. Where is that in the Bible? Where is that in the Bible to do parking ministry? You know, I think all the, all the people that come in and out of here can drive perfectly fine and park fine. They have their own will to stop and take a pamphlet if they want. So do you think when you stand at the foot of God, if you get there, that he's going to say, good job, faithful servant, for standing and doing parking ministry and not saving the babies? Think about it, sir. 16,000 kids in foster care ready to be adopted. Why can't you? You know, I can tell you, I've adopted six. Finances have nothing to do with it. What has to do with it is your not willingness. The state helps with that, sir. Well, I ask you then, why don't you do it? Why doesn't the thousands of people sitting in there do it? You can ask, you can answer for yourself. I understand there are circumstances that potentially you can't. Finances is definitely not one of them. What's that? Thank you. That's what we're asking. People to look into it. Start doing the work. Thank you, sir. I pray that God will show you that you can. Thank you. Mom, we have one of those cars. Yep. You're nice. I'm going to see if she can do it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm like the mean mom, right? Like, let's see if you can do it. <laughs> that was nice. Say thank you. <laughs> can I give this to you if I were out here? We're just calling Christians of their apathy of abortion, calling people to do something about it rather than just vote about it. Thank you.